510 is your time right now. A change regarding required physical education classes in Kansas isn't sitting well with everyone. One Johnson County School District votes to adopt changes, reducing mandatory credits tied to physical education. Instead, there's more focus on advanced science and math classes, starting with next year's high school freshmen. Fox 4 Sean McDowell is working for you tonight live outside Shawnee Mission North High School, where the big change isn't sitting well with everybody. Sean? This was a tough decision to be sure, Kevin and Crystal. Good evening. A school board committee recommended this to the full board. There was 25 people on that, that committee. It was recommended by only one vote on Monday. The decision is meant to match new state guidelines as set by public education leaders here in the Sunflower State. And it comes down to this as it presently stood, or stands, I should clarify, as it presently stands, uh, physical education stands for only one credit toward a graduate a graduation from high school. Under these new guidelines, that would be reduced to one half credit. The benefits of physical education should remain in the forefront. According to those who don't approve of the Shawnee Mission School District's decision to align with state guidelines, reducing the credit hours tied to phys ed from one credit to a half credit. And it simply feels like a giant step back where I thought we were headed. Brian Vesta shared his disapproval at Monday night's Shawnee Mission School Board meeting. He's a physical education teacher at Shawnee Mission Northwest High School. Vesta is among those who emphasize the benefits of physical exercise and its benefits for teenagers' mental health. He says the perception this would only affect varsity athletes is short-sighted. Students who prefer to be sedentary, the students, students who avoid uh, social interactions, and the social uh, students who don't think they want to do anything active are the ones that will be most affected and impacted by reducing PE requirements. Earlier this year, the Kansas State Department of Education made this recommendation to school districts, placing a higher priority on advanced math and science courses. Dr. Darren Dennis is the Shawnee Mission School District's chief academic officer. He says phys ed classes will still be offered. Yeah, we have not reduced or eliminated any classes at all. Any student who wants to take physical education is welcome to do so and as many credits as they can fit into their schedule. Whatever it is that students are interested in, we want them to be able to have as many opportunities as they can to, to pursue that. Roughly 8,000 students at the high school level call this school district home at the Shawnee Mission School District's five headquarters. And to be exact, this won't take effect until the upcoming year when the freshmen enroll for that class. To be specific, that'd be the class of 2027.